morning. Happy Wednesday. So it's it's workout Wednesday. That's what I do is I theme the days. And I've been doing that for the last month and a half now. <clears throat> Since um, basically, you know, um, my routines changed. I wanted to theme the day for myself and I wanted to, to theme the day for my clients and for the group. So Wednesdays are um, weekend um, workouts. And so I wanted to just show you a little bit of, of what I do um, in the Zoom class that I do every day. I do it, the class um, at 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern time every day. And to me, it's been one of my own goals for the last you now month and a half. And um, it, it became something because I was working with my clients in my gym and Zoom became another option. I, I opened the door, I figured out how to use it. I had a little, uh, a guy who, um, you know, high school kid who was able to help me understand the IT part of it before everything kind of closed down. And so now I have my, my Zoom workout and I do it every day. And to me, it's something that keeps me grounded and I know that it keeps my clients grounded because they see them every day or I see them in a routine. Um, you know, some people use it as um, popping in for a class a week, adding it to their workout, and some people use it every day. Some people are on in the morning and at night, and they get to see their faces twice, uh, you know, each day, which is awesome. You know, I'm there working out twice, at least. And then I have, like, one-on-ones with other clients, of course, if anybody else would be interested in that. So I just wanted to show you, you know, there's so many workout videos out there and I was listening to like, well, what, you know, I was listening to a book called 10X and it was really basically saying like, get your word out there. And, you know, what makes me different than, you know, um, some other workouts out there? For me, I have, right now I'm sitting here on a ball chair. My back is throbbing at the moment, you know. Um, I have shoulder pain and neck pain. But with resistance training, using um, bands and stability balls, using your body weight, you can work out and still not hurt, you know, or aggravate the areas that, you know, you need to strengthen and you can strengthen. You know, um, PT tends to use resistance all the time. There's a reason for it, right? So um, the combination, you know, often we'll put this on our feet. I did a little bit of this in my 30-day challenge group this morning, but, you know, holding it here and bringing it up and out. I should not have my glasses on. I can balance. You know, if this is part of isometric holding a pose, right? You can also, and this is just inexpensive, you know, home equipment. And down one. Two, three, Whoop. one, two. And I do this, you know, and everybody, if you have a knee issue, alter, you know, alternatives are coming down to the ground. Even with or without the ball, putting weight on your belly. Yeah, I'm bringing it down. Oh. Woo. Right. So there's always different ways to get around the injuries that you have using different tensions of band or no band. Um, you know, we do push-ups, and everybody's like, "Oh, I can't do push-ups." 
Well, I couldn't either. Right. But you start somewhere. So you start sorry. the table, often you come up and down this way. Modify. Regular. Oh my god. Then you can use the ball under your feet. So there's all levels. So I just wanted to show you a little bit of what I do in class, either in here or now on Zoom. And if you're interested, contact me. Have a great day. Bye.